This video will show you how to professionally remove and reinstall a Bosch high pressure pump. The required spare parts vary depending on the type of high pressure pump and on the vehicle manufacturer. In most cases, no special tools are required for the removal and installation. The removal and installation process varies depending on the vehicle. Release the fuel pressure following the instructions provided by the vehicle manufacturer. Use the diagnostic tester to check if the pressure in the fuel rail has been released completely. Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery to prevent the electric fuel pump from initiating. Attention! Please be aware that with keyless entry systems, opening the driver's door or even approaching the vehicle can activate the electric fuel pump, even though the ignition is still switched off. Dismantle all attachment parts according to the manufacturer's instructions to access the high-pressure pump. Disconnect the electric connector of the high-pressure pump. Remove the low-pressure and high-pressure fuel lines. Seal all open connections. Untighten the screws alternately by half a turn to prevent the high pressure pump from canting. Depending on the position of the drive cam, the high pressure pump can be subjected to high tension. Always check the springs and pistons for any defects when reinstalling the high pressure pump. Remove the tappet from the cylinder head. Check for defects and replace if required. Always use new seals when installing a new high pressure pump and depending on the vehicle manufacturer, new screws and a new connection nozzle for the low pressure and high pressure fuel lines connected to the fuel rail. Make sure the surface of the seal is clean and undamaged. In order to ease the installation, the crankshaft should be turned in direction of rotation of the engine until the tappet stays at the lowest point. Always use new seals. When placing the new high pressure pump, make sure not to cant it. Place the screws by hand first. Then tighten them alternately by half a turn until the pump is seated in place. Please apply the torque specified by the vehicle manufacturer's documentation. Remove the seal plug. Replace all seals and high pressure lines according to the manufacturer's instructions. Install all attachment parts and tighten with the torque specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. Switch on the ignition and check the engine compartment for leaking fuel. Start the engine and check again. Use the diagnostic tester to read out any error codes and delete them. Do not forget about the test drive afterwards, since the injection system needs to be under load to build up high fuel pressure. After that, check again for leaks and error codes. For further information on detailed diagnosis, removal and installation, please consult Azitronic. This video addresses skilled personnel who have been trained to engage with motor vehicles and are familiar with the risks and dangers. Bosch. Invented for life.